Hello, my friends, I'm Rex and I'm back again, and today we are reviewing Marvel Legends series Winter Soldier Flashback. I'm not sure why that makes a difference. So essentially is the Winter Soldier, and he looks really cool, and I can't wait to get him open. And just like usual, we're going to get him open, and then we're going to show you what every what everything that comes inside. I cannot talk to that. So let's get this thing open. Okay, so we've gotten him out of the box, and this guy looks really, really cool. So we'll start with the action figure and then we'll move on to the accessories. So he's got these big boots, which help him with standing up. Because as you can see, he stands up perfectly fine, which I've had trouble with that with certain Marvel Legends figures. So he's got these nice boots, there's some brown and black details, he has these kneecaps, he has these very detailed pants. He has this belt, which is a little bit wiggly. It's got this little side thing, a clip on the front. And if I turn him all the way around, you can see a pouch right there. And on his back, you have a little knife. Then you have some more brownish armor with some belt straps. So he's really like armored very well. And then he has this cool little backpack, like strap thing for his left, no, not his left arm. His right arm is the, um, the same pattern as the shirt and pants. And it flows, the creases are there and it looks really cool. It goes down to his hand, which both of his hands are in the same position as though they're holding weapons. This one's flesh, and his other arm is robot. They do a really nice job with the metallic -y. It looks super cool. You have the Soviet star, because he was trained by Russians when he became the Winter Soldier, and he has this glove on his metal hand. I don't know why. That seems just kind of strange. And then for his face, you can't see much of it because of his little, like, facial mask. And he has nice, well-sculpted hair, and his eyes are really, really well-made, like, just like a lot of these Marvel Legends figures. So as for the accessories comes with an extra portrait that does not have a mask on it and it looks really really cool like I'm holding a little human head without the blood <laughs> and uh, it's really well made it looks super cool so for the accessories we have a knife with a black handle and some shiny metallicness for the blade itself we have a pistol a very large pistol Quite large and there's a little hole on the end too. Cool pistol. Then we have what I believe to be a submachine gun or an SMG just because of this massive ammo cartridge down there. And it looks like this, it may actually be this pistol just with the, the little ammo cartridge sticking out the bottom. That may very well be just the same pistol with the ammo cartridge sticking out. And then finally we have this massive gun. It looks like it's got a, sn uh, a scope a huge cartridge of ammo, and it's got a, I think that's a grenade launcher, maybe, I'm not sure, but yeah, this guy looks armed to the teeth, so let's see if we can't get these things into his hands, the knife goes in real easy, so there we go, he's got his knife, he's got a lot of points of articulation, which is super cool, you have his knife, and as for his gun, let's see if I can get the big gun into this hand, there you go, I've got it somewhat, <laughs> So he looks really cool. I really love this guy. I can't wait to put him into a diorama. I have a feeling he'll look really good with some of my other action figures, Marvel, or some of the other ones that I have. And uh, this has been a very fun experience in boxing this guy. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll catch you next one. Sayonara. Sayonara.